welcome back or welcome welcome back to exclusive sports welcome back it's been a while like how's everyone doing welcome to 2020 well i haven't uploaded since of, i haven't uploaded the video since last year what <laughs> nah, seriously it's been so long since i've uploaded the video like i think the last time i uploaded the video was uh, let me just check that actually it's been a while so the last video i uploaded was four months ago which was the updated what is in my swim bag back to training so that was like when i got back to training after my injury wow what um for last four months it's been i'll give you guys an update on what's been happening in the last four months so i've been back at training um been training a lot we've just currently been on a month break due to Christmas, New Year's and all that and we have at the end of the year we have a month off. Um, so that's pretty much the only time we have off for the whole year is just the end of the year. And obviously we have public holidays off but mainly just this is the longest break we have is the month off during Christmas and New Year's where we can spend time with family when we can go on holidays and all that stuff. But this this holidays hasn't been exactly um as my normal holidays I've still been training so I've still been going to the pool at least once a week um well the last two weeks before yesterday I hadn't been training because I had to take a two-week break due to a little soft tissue injury in my ankle um but that's all sorted now I got back in the pool yesterday and I'm feeling amazing like I'm ready for the 2020 season to start like Training goes back on the 19th of January, which I'm excited for, and our first comp is back on the 15th of January. So that's will be our where my first like proper swimming vlog will be back. So comp back will be back. It's at my home pool, so hopefully I'll be I'll be getting someone to film for me. Um, that will be good. So yeah, just training has been, that's what I've been happening in the last one months. I've been seeing the physio a lot, like. Um, so I was seeing them once a week, but now it's kind of slowed down a bit. I'm seeing them every um, six weeks now, beside, but then the last two weeks has been, I've been seeing them weekly because of the um, foot injury, but um, I'll be going back to the six weeks again soon. My hip is actually all right. It's actually doing better than we all thought. Yes, I'm still having, I'm still having like, like every... 12 weeks or something I'm getting dry needling done so every second appointment I get dry needling done in the hip just to relieve the pressure and um, fluid around the hip area um, but when I do they get that done it feels amazing like once I've yes for the first two three days after it I'm a bit sore but once that's done I'm completely back to normal pretty much I can train fully I'm not in any pain um, I'm doing foam rolling twice or before training and after training, before comps and after comps. Um, stretching, obviously, before training, after training, before comps, before a race, always stretching, always, I'm even foam rolling every day, even when I'm not training, I'm foam rolling just to keep my muscles nice and loose so I can prevent injury. Um, so yeah exciting things happening this year lots of comps happening um hopefully be back to competing a lot more than i was last year obviously i have to take that massive gap break after the trip the world games trip um for christmas i got this amazing present from my parents see that yeah that's a metal holder So, yeah, and I got these shelves to go with it. So, I'm definitely putting them up soon um, on my wall. I'm excited for that. So, a big year. So, this year is pretty much just training, competing, getting myself prepared for next year, which is selection year for nationals. So, um, I got a lot of work to do this year to prepare myself for selections next year 
for hopefully to be able to make the Nationals team the year after. So, a lot of things happening and yeah, I'm sorry if anyone runs in. My nephew, we're currently going to get my nephew over, so if you hear noise, that's my nephew and he may end up running into the room. But yeah, so that's what's been happening in my world. Now we're just going to look into a video. We're just going to watch, react to a swimming video. Um, actually, what we're going to do, scrap that. I have an idea. So we're going to go back onto my channel and we're going to react to my first. So we're going to watch my first. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully record this. So hopefully it'll pop up here. So, my first video I ever uploaded was what is in my swim bag. Well, my first video I uploaded was the intro, obviously, but we're not going to watch that. We're just going to watch what is in my swim bag. So, this was the very first one I did. Oops, we'll go back to the start. So, my intro is completely different. Like, back then to now, it is different. This is going to be a sports channel and this is my first video for this channel so I hope you guys enjoy the content that I upload on this channel but I mainly do swimming so most of the stuff will be swimming. My um, editing skills so back then. Know, so if you guys are interested in swimming then stay around. But my editing skills now are even better but also because I've been doing filming a lot more. I have two channels now. That's what I do in so obviously I have two channels. Sport two channels. I have my vlog channel. I have the sports channel. So definitely go check out my vlog channel because I upload on that very frequently, and I've been uploading a lot on that since. That's something I've been uploading. Basis. Yes. I train two to three times a week. So I do two training sessions as in my club, and then I do a few private training sessions on my own. Especially at the moment because I am doing the FIFA World Games, which is next year in Abu Dhabi, which is so this in was Ab so this was just before, like this was a year before I went to World Games. So this was last year. So the United yeah. Arbor Emirates, I think that's how you say it. But anyway, so my first video today is going to be getting ready for training. This must be winter time Sunday. because so I'm what so I'm doing is dressed I'm doing up in winter clothes. Video for training, and then on either Friday night or Saturday, I'm going to be filming a what's in my swimming bag for competition. So this is like a what's in my swimming bag for training. <laughs> I never uploaded that video. My bad. But I did end up doing one, so yeah. What's your must be bag for competitions? Yeah, so let's move on. My bag. Okay, so the little um. So I still got that bag. You can see it's out there. That's your football car. Uh, one which is made by TYR, the swimming company, and this is just the bag I use, it's a nice pink bag, I've had this bag for quite a while now, and it's carried. So, as you can see in this first pocket here, this is like a little pocket where I can put like little things in, so this is where I usually put my asthma puffer, because I am asthmatic, Still do that. so I need my, my um, preventer. So I have two accounts. Wow, clips that I, I was so good at like cutting out clips back then. Like, seriously, I need to start doing that again. Like, when I'm editing, yes, I still cut out clips, but I tend to like leave a lot of them in. And my videos are so long. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to continue taking cutting out the parts, or do you want me to like leave parts in? Use, which I use for yeah. training and then I have my other spare ones in my other bag but these ones I use for trainings so I have this one which is just a um, school sports Victoria region championships cap also goes in this bag then I have my training goggles these are the goggles I only use for training I have I don't wear training, those ones anymore I, I still have them I don't wear goggles, them which is for comms and then I have like spare goggles in case these break or whatever I've always got a spare but these are the ones I use mainly for training. They're just these nice colours. And then this is a cap I recently got. But it's my football club. Never worn that cap. AFL, which I go for. This is the footy club I go for. Hawthorne Football Club, which is in Australia. For you guys that are not in Australia. But this is what it is. And 
Okay, so now, oh, and then also another thing I put in here is just my nose plug thing. This is our own. Sorry, nose plug. <laughs> I had one, I had that one, lost it, so I brought a new one today. Ready? Nose plug. You just put on your nose. Plug the that, That's what you do. Look right. like your nose. That's so weird. Hello, Frank from National Tiles. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Right, I'm so weird. So the first one I'm going to show you is this kickboard. Which this that is kickboard is the bomb, I love arena. it. Arena. Yeah, arena. still have it. Um, it's in that bag. This is the kickboard I use. I'm covering this because that's my full name. Okay. So, just gonna so that's when I so actually cared nice about knowing my name, but now I don't really care. Your kickboard, it just has sections for your hands. As long as you don't know where I live. Peak. And it says, morning, this is the English one. Morning will not protect against drowning. Use only Okay, under Sarah. No one cares. Sorry, constant supervision. So, and that's what that is. Next thing I've got here is my fins. So, these fins are called all stroke fins. So, most fins Still you use can't them. do brush stroke. But I've got freestyle back stroke. Since then, I've you had do three new pairs. Stroke. But these ones because you can do brush stroke in. They've got the little thing so you can do brush stroke. My fin one um, kept growing and two thing broke called oh, Cosmic Dive Fin. So they're made by fins like that. That's what that looks like. It's a little carry bag which is really nice. And then I can just carry it like this. So we'll put that in our swing bag. The thing I got is this so this is another type of kickboard. Um this is made by fins. So um this one is you just pretty much it, just gonna, it helps you with your um, streamlines. Because streamlining is very important in swimming. True. So now it is very move important. On to the next one is, is this thing. So this thing, you're probably wondering what the hell is this? I've used so that like three times. Things. This is a pool boy. But it's not a normal okay, pool boy. Let's give them that. Let's you're going to put it in your hands. And it stops. Mm. They're like paddles. But you put these I haven't used them in, on ages. in your arms in freestyle. So in freestyle you've got a bench. And a lot of my stuff is made like this. And then the next device I have only just got literally the same day as I got those fins like um, last week. So I've actually had a chance to use this yet. I've so used I'm it, going to use it like every training session and it is amazing. Like it's the bomb, literally. So it pretty much it what it does is you put it around your feet and it stops you from kicking when you use your pool boy and it's the best because i used to be really bad at that like i used to have my fit my pool boy between my legs and then i would secretly kick underneath the water um because i didn't have the strength <laughs> or the motivation to do that but now i am motivated i have the strength and i have that device to stop me from kicking so i'm moving now so it's prepared for training so, so i showed you how to do it so i'm just going to skip through that Okay, so now we enter my or oh, this bag. Now I don't actually have this bag anymore. You know I got this new TYR bag. I gave this bag to a swimmer in my club who was in need of a swimming bag. She she used to carry all her stuff, like she used to just carry her towels in it like a shopping bag, and then all of her stuff just carried it into the pool. And I was like, yeah, you need a proper swimming bag, so I gave it to her for free. What a nice swimming friend I am. I'm just going to quickly show you guys what's already in it. So in this front pocket, it's here. Um, I just have this bag, which is from the shop where I shop. So it's this Aqua Shop. If you guys live in Australia, I do recommend going to the Aqua Shop. They are the best. You can also shop online. Um, they have all the swimming equipment that you need. I am not sponsored by Aqua Shop. I wish. I really do wish. If Aqua Shop, if you're watching right now, like somehow Seriously. watching my video, yeah. If you're watching, like, hit me up. Like any swimming people out there, like companies that want to hit me up. Come on, come hit me up. Like seriously, I will. I will proudly wear your stuff and show you guys your your equipment and everything off because I am just love swimming and I'm happy to try any equipment so if if, if is there any sponsor 
ships out there that want to, like any companies that want to sponsor me, hit me up on my email. I'll leave a description down. I'll leave an email. I'll leave my email in the description. Hit me up an email, and I look forward to being contacted by so many of you guys. Please get in contact with me because I love you, and you are where I go all the time. This is still my. This is what I use to clean my. Okay, what was that? Then I just also got this. Um, so we're just going to go from my bag. Now, I'm not going to show too much of this video because I think this way the video, but my lens goggles, right, I'm just going to so fast forward because there's so much in this see, Which A piece of fruit banana before training. It's always good to have a piece of fruit before training because it helps with your energy. So I used to have apples, um, but I can't buy down with apples right now because my braces. Which I'll be getting off very, very soon in the next full, I think that's in the next, within two months. Two to three months. I had no braces like, anymore. That's crazy. I've had them for two years already. I'm going to buy them. Best feeling ever. Because I miss biting into apples a lot. So, I've been getting some bananas. I used to hate bananas, the textures and the feelings of bananas. But now, I love them. So, that goes in the side of my bag, ready for training. And I always have a pen in the bag. When I need to fill out forms or anything, so I need to always have a pen in my bag as well. So, all this stuff for training, and that's my swimming bag. That's my training bag. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button down below. Also, press the like button and comment down below what is your favorite sport that you do. And if you do something, comment down below what your favorite event is. Swimming event. I promise my dreams have just come true and so will yours so keep focused keep training hard and you never know what's about to come around the corner so thank yes. you for watching this video peace Definitely. hey guys sorry i forgot to show you guys oh, this. No. so this is really awesome this is pain away so yes, i am back oh i left my screen oh no i didn't turn it off turn it back on Australia company so, so this is Pro Salt X so this is what you do is after a hard training session or hard competition you put this in a bath you um, depending on what you did so if you want it for re relaxation if you want it for sports recovery or yep so for sports recovery you can do two to four cups of this into some warm to hot water and let it dissolve and you get in there and sit there for 20 to 30 minutes and it will help with any muscle pain that you've just got from training hard and I highly recommend this um, it's the best thing ever it's helped me and I'm going to continue using this so if you guys want this I'm not sponsored yeah, by this definitely company. use that um, I, I just to show you guys this I use that still to today a year later and I still use it so definitely recommend using that because it helps me and i want it to help you guys too so go cop some of this stuff it will be amazing even if you're not in australia go see if there's a, a, a brand out there like this that it could help you with your muscles after training or competitions because trust me you do not want to have to go through that pain like the pain is ridiculous and since i started this my body has been feeling so good after training and comps. So thank you for this company for providing this to the chemists around me so I can get this. And thank you, sis. thank you for coming out with this because I don't know what my life will be without this. This is the best. So thank you for watching this video. Peace. Right. So that. Is the video. Um, so my thoughts is intro and outro are completely different. And yeah, it's just very different. So thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Always want to be happy, smile and enjoy life and keep active and follow your dreams. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>